Hey guys, it's Dak13, and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how to get NES emulator and ROMs for an iPod Touch or iPhone for free on 3.0, 3.1, 3.1.1, .1, and 3.1.2. Alright guys, so the two things you obviously need is a working Wi-Fi and your iPod Touch or iPhone needs to be jailbroken. Alright, so you want to open up Cydia. And you will need to use a computer for part of this tutorial, but right now I'm just going to show you on how to get the emulator for free. Um, normally this emulator costs money, but if you add this source you can get it for free. So it's sinfuliphonerepo.com slash, so you want to hit edit, add, and you want to add this, sinful, my bad, sinful iphone repo dot com slash, and you want to hit add source, and it will add the source, obviously. You want to hit return to Cydia. And when you have the source added, you want to go down to search and search N E S. So, right now, once again, all we're doing is installing the emulator because to get ROMs, you will need a computer and you'll need to know how to SSH. But don't worry, I will cover that in this video. So, there we go. NES3 cracked. Again, hit install. Then hit confirm. And it should download NES3 cracked. And once it's finished, when it returns to Cydia, and you can just hit the home button. And as you can see, I have NES3. And it comes with two ROMs already. But now I'm going to show you on how to get ROMs, um, more ROMs for NES3. So now we're going to the computer. All right, so now we're going to be using the computer um, for how to get ROMs onto your iPod Touch or iPhone for the NES emulator, which we just installed. Um, sorry, you guys, you cannot use Cydia to get the ROMs. You will need to have a computer. You will need to use a computer. So you want to go to this website, which is be in the description. It is the oldcomputer.com, and you want to go over to the right, right here. You want to select this right here, Nintendo NES. So you want to click it, and you'll get Nintendo ROM downloads. You just want to scroll down, and you'll have some categories. So you got 468 ROMs, 428, and 13 Japanese. Um, I'll just download one ROM to show you guys. So you find the ones you want. Let's see, I just downloaded Mario Brothers, so you want to click it, and just exit out this ad. And then it should be in zip format, so you want to make sure you have WinRAR, I'll put a link in the description for it. WinRAR is basically to open up zip files, and there you'll see MarioBro.NES. So you want to open up the zip file and just drag the um, ROM onto your desktop. And now, this is the tricky part. You need to know how to SSH. So if you don't know how to SSH, um, I'll put an annotation right now, somewhere in this video, for how to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. It's my video. But if you already know how, just log into your iPod Touch or iPhone. So I'll put in my IP address. And then I will type in Roots. So SSHing is really easy, it's just a few steps, so put a link in the description and the annotation should just be up. So I'll hit login. And alright. So now you should have library and media. You want to click this arrow and it should go up to this main menu. Then you want to hit double click mobile. And then you want to hit media. And there should be a section called ROMs, of 
course I have the GBA emulator already so if you want to add GBA ROMs you just add them there but for this tutorial it's NES you want to double click that and of course earlier in this video when I opened up the NES application it came with two ROMs already there they are but I will drag the Mario Brother ROM into here and I'll just click copy and as you can see it is already finished so I will exit out okay now you want to go to your iPod touch or iPhone and you want to restart it by holding down the power button and sliding to power off then you want to hold down the power button to load it back up and then once it has finished rebooting you just want to slide to unlock and then open up the NES application and all games and there's the Mario Brothers I downloaded so I'll start a new game and There you go. So it worked perfectly. If it worked for you guys, please rate five stars and subscribe. See you guys later.